G'day, I'm Ash. Welcome back to the War Thunder. It's been a little while since I've done videos, but predominantly because of my own personal health. I've had a bunch of crises come up and and health scares that have pushed me back to focus on resting up and and recovering on heavy antibiotics to deal with uh, heavy inflammation in the brain near the frontal cortex. Essentially, excess fluid is building around the cerebral cortex as well, and the doctors say there is possible tumor around these areas due to how much fluid is in and basically putting pressure on my brain because hopefully everything goes uh, particularly well. Doctors have booked me in for another MRI, but they want me to finish the antibiotics first. So that's a bit of a health update for those who follow me on Twitter. And for those of you who didn't know what was going on and why I haven't been posting videos. Now, now. Anyway, I've been following a bunch of Reddit threads and a bunch of people in, in the community have been telling me how, how impossible this new uh, event is. Operation Suffer definitely is in full swing, apparently. And events are getting way too time consuming according to a consensus by the community, which has over 800 upvotes on this time on Reddit. The summer quest, which normally takes a lot of time, is now definitely a full time job if you're a free to play player. You know, never mind someone who wants to play it casually because, yeah, goodness me. Essentially, the free IS-2 they gave out about a month or so ago, in which you had to compete in battles in order to get 20,000 points. Now, there wasn't any other strings attached, it was just 20,000 points, and that was relatively ch achievable in a, in a space of around three hours a day. What they've done is they've separated, it's not 40,000 points overall. Instead, it is 40,000 points per individual task. If you are a collector like me, that's basically impossible to do. Considering that you get a low tier Hungarian tank destroyer with rockets, and that's four tasks, so that's already a, a considerable amount of points just for uh, one vehicle, let alone, you, you know, you need another 40,000 just to unlock the next task along if you want to get uh, you more progress points towards the next thing. Yes, they've made the tasks shorter. Instead of regular 12, it's now 10. But overall, the event is longer and more, I guess, annoying than any other event that I have witnessed in War Thunder's history. So you're looking at almost a full working day in order to unlock something that is incredibly stupid. Um, you know, honestly, it should have been 20,000 points and not 40k. And what really boggles my mind is really that they ex used us as a bit of an experiment to gauge what was acceptable and what wasn't with the free IS-2. And now that everybody's had the free IS-2, they've taken the data from that and went, okay, how can we make a quick buck? It just seems like everything since the A-10's introduction has been purely about money. I understand it is a business. You guys have spent a lot on my, you know, affiliate link, by the way, 3% off, and you get a really unique decal. At the... The, the point is, you, you guys have spent a lot of hard-earned money on this game, and, you know, as they say, time is money, and if you are doing something that is not worth your time, then I highly suggest you just gold the tasks. But if you are a collector and you want to play and, and get this, it is virtually impossible for you to get every single task and maintain a normal work life or even social life. It, it, it's utterly bizarre. Now, I actually like the IS-2 uh, th number 321 event because 20,000 points was actually achievable. Now, for multiple tasks, however, that can be derived as somewhat lucrative affair considering there are other things you also have to unlock in order to progress the task. So you combine that and put that pressure on a lot of players. A lot of the guys that I know are just giving up on the event in, in its entirety, you know, creating this forced sense of rarity for some of these uh, events, some of the vehicles, which we haven't seen since you're introduction of the Gaussian marketplace which again I didn't really agree with in the first place if you really want our money that bad Gaussian entertainment why don't you put the vehicles in, in and the exclusive vehicles up for 60 US dollars and then let us have our fun particularly with the vehicles that we want to see in game I mean it's almost a premium vehicle, but the amount of time you're required to get some of these vehicles is utterly ludicrous. So, I don't know, is it a time cost sunk fallacy thing you're trying to recreate? Or you're just trying to give us something to do? Because, in hindsight, there has been so many events after event after event, it is hard to keep up and, and keep a positive drive, even as a casual player myself, even though I do content on the side, it really just fucks with everything got a battle pass and then that goes for three months so you have to make sure you're doing that and then there is a another sort of event and it just continues going and then we have a major update and then we have this and it's just like fucking slow down let us appreciate something a little bit better and and, and allow us to actually 
enjoy the game. Now, it could be said that, you know, enjoying the game is probably a separate thing altogether, and fulfillment and what you get out of this game is probably arbitrary to a larger discussion as a whole, but War Thunder is in a very unique position where it's one of the only games that is relatively accessible with this amount of vehicles and, and you know, varying game modes for casual and entry-level players to move their way up to other titles. The problem is, I don't really want to play simulation games all the time, so... You know, War Thunder's in a marketplace where they know they can charge X amount of, you know, for, for vehicles, and they know they can get away with making events like this. And it just feels like the latest patch, the latest sort of, uh, you know, graphical updates and sound updates that they keep doing just continue to bug me and, and break the game and, and, and just batter other players with ridiculous changes, like moving the Vampire's battle rating up to 8.0, and then, you know, not down-tearing a vehicle which is actually destroying, you know, entry-level jets like the SU-11 or the SU-9. I, I, I just... I'm baffled by this company year after year. And I, if, if, if there was another game like this one on the marketplace, then I probably would have shipped, you know, jump ship by now. But there isn't. And that's a sad reality of the position that a lot of us content creators are in, wishing that we hadn't have gotten popular on a game that probably... <laughs> You know, is it, steadily climbing in player base, don't get me wrong, but with events like this, it really just showcases the bad side of the community. Uh, everyone's tryharding, everyone's trying to get the maximum amount of points, they're trying their best to, to you know, get kills, and it, it really shows comparatively to normal seasons. So, you know, there is something to be said about event season in War Thunder. I, I mean, even in other games such as World of Tanks or World of Warships, I haven't experienced that during event seasons either. So, you know, it's not good for the community. It's not good for people who actually have lives. And it certainly isn't good for the sanity of a lot of the regular player base. So something to think about. Gaussian, you're full of shit. Go fuck yourself. Sometimes you need to be told... What is a good idea and what isn't a good idea? And whoever uh, decided that 40,000 points was a good decision needs to seriously reevaluate their decisions. Because honestly, the other major change to this is the ability for them to have a, a points multiplier based on the tier of vehicle, which again really punishes people for having lower tier vehicles or who lack high tier vehicles to begin with. So, you know, uh, it's just this whole event's fucked. It, it, you know, I, I just, they're money hungry, and I, I get, I get that Enlisted's failed, and some of your other projects have failed horribly, you fucked over Crossout, you fucked over Star Conflict, you don't need to ruin the one good thing you have, it, it boggles me, year on year, it's, I just, just, I'm not even doing the event and I'm pissed off. I'm getting secondhand pissed offness from other players who are like, this shit is fucking rigged. Let's not even mention the cocktails and the little crates that they're, they're supposedly giving us rewards with, which basically give you nothing but predetermined lottery tickets to something that you're not even going to win, making you spend millions of your silver lines in order to just throw back at you a couple of shiny things that don't even exist. That's the other thing. They're doing this pre-update, so that way you buy more shit, isn't it? But if you're going to buy more shit, and if you're going to be responsible with your money, and you want to golden eagle the tasks, or, you know, do something else, buy my decal. That's literally all I have to say. Look, 3% discount isn't much, but it is something. And, you know, I get a little bit of cash return on that one. Ugh. This game. What a fun experience, he said. <laughs> I need to go drink some more alcohol. Guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Ash, and I'll catch you next one. Bye-bye.